Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see today, I have a Joseca stationery package in here that I'm gonna open because I'm actually really excited of the content inside. And with what I got inside, I'm gonna be doing some of my last ink swatches. In the last video, when I was setting up this journal, I did the swatches for all of these small kind of inks that I have in here. So uh, I told you guys that I still have some big bottles that I didn't do the ink swatches and I got a new product to do some ink swatches. So I wanted to do that in this video to show you guys and also to try it out by myself. But anyways, let's turn on a candle. You guys know the drill. This is the Riverside Soy Candles. This is from Duluth, Minnesota. And the name of this candle is the North Shore Getaway. I got it in a restaurant in Minnesota that is called Grandma's in Duluth and this smells really good. I have my water in here, I have this towel with this and everything to get it ready. So anyways, if you don't know me, my name is B and I made so many videos about stationery, a lot of planning, a lot of uh, inks like today. Uh, I also tried to do some fountain pens and I'm really excited to let you know guys that I actually have the video already planned out and it's gonna come up this week. Actually, after this video, you guys are gonna be able to see my whole collection of fountain pens, which I have so many because I bought a new thing to set it up. But anyways, if you like this kind of content, just continue watching this video and also consider subscribing to my channel so you can see all the future videos. So anyways, let me just open this real quick. Okay, that took a long time to open, but anyways, I got this from Joseca Stationery. I'm so excited for these things. So this is what I'm gonna be using today. And I'm gonna show you guys a last. Let me just show you the other products that I got so we can get these stuff out of the way. So as I mentioned, I bought this in Joseca Stationery. I always love because when I buy in Joseca Stationery, they are, take a lot of care of your package and they really package it so pretty. So I'm really excited about this. Oh my God. So I got this. This is the Joseca Brass Token in here. And let's just open it so you guys can see the other side. I'm really excited. You guys know that I love Traveler's Company as well. Let me open this in here. And I want to use this in my journal. This is just a Joseca stationery. And then in the bag, you just have all of this, which is so cute. It has some stationery items in there. So I got this to put into my Traveler's journal. So let's just put it back in here so I don't lose it. So this is one of the items that I bought in here. But the main reason why I bought this in Joseca is because of this. They are so cute. I bought the three of them. They were releasing these, I think it was last week. And they are just keychains. They are really tiny and they are not, you cannot use them. I'm pretty sure. Can you take them out at least? I don't think you can take them out either. Yeah, I don't think you can take them out. But they are just fountain pens. You can still turn it around, but... This is blue, this is kind of like aqua color, and this is kind of like an orangey color. They are so cute. They are supposed to be like really tiny fountain pens that look like the ones at Sailor, I think. But they are really, really cute. I may take all these things because this is way bigger than the fountain pen itself. It's huge, but they are so cute. Let's just put them in here since we're going to be doing some swatches for inks. So anyways, this is the main reason of why I bought a Joseca. And after that, I decided to buy some of the other items. But that's pretty cute. Anyways, they sent me this. This is just some freebies that they always send. Ooh, this is really nice. This is about ceramics. Then I got this. This is just, oh, I love the Fanta pen in here. Just an illustration. And does it say from who? Okay, Ameru for Hobonishi 2024. Ooh, this is nice. So they sent me that and they sent me this. This is like the Hobonishi items. I got this one, you guys saw it in the last video that I got this tiny one and I got this too. So this is really cool. I'm so excited, this is nice. They always send some freebies, so I'm glad they sent me some freebies this time. But anyways, <laughs> the main reason or the main thing that I bought after is this Kakimori item. And 
I don't know if you guys are like me that I see so many people doing ink swatches and buying stationery and buying fountain pens. But so many people that do swatches, they use this pen. This is specific. Um, this one is kind of going to be like a, the one that you dip. Like kind of like a dip pen. And this is by the brand Kakimori. I'm not even going to tell the price because uh, this was actually expensive. I thought this was going to be way bigger. This is really interesting. In all the videos that I always see, I see this like huge but this is not that big and it's really expensive this thing so this is the metal nib of kakimori and it's brass so it's this tiny one and this is the body i think this one is bamboo this is the nib holder and it's sakura wood actually so i'm not gonna as i mentioned i'm not gonna even tell you guys the price because it's very expensive but you just put it in there you can also buy other ones of these and you can just change them as you can see in here you just insert them in there but yeah i got this to do all the swatches of my inks and this is a gift for myself like everything else that i always show you guys that i am box so this is one of those gifts i really wanted to try it out this is actually really cool just to show you guys other ones that i have used i used this one in the last video too this is just a glass deep pen it was way cheaper out of Amazon and I love how it just turn around and the color and everything and it has this in here so when you put the ink the ink are gonna just slide down like that and it has this small little nib in there this is also one of those deep pens and then other one that I have shown you before in my channel is this one this one I don't even remember what material it is but I also got it out of Amazon it has this kind of like wood looking thing and then in here it has glass so it just look like this and then when you close it it's just wood so it's kind of easier to carry around with you because you're not gonna break it like this one this one is kind of delicate for me so today what i want to do is that i want to try it out this new one and i'm gonna be doing all the swatches for the other inks that i haven't done and we are gonna finish my ink journal i'm just gonna take all my a rings in here my wedding ring and my other ring just mainly because i'm gonna be using inks and i didn't do that last time i don't want to bring my rings but anyways this in here just again really big quick summary this one i set it up in other one of my videos this is a journal by travelers company this is collaboration with ace hotel and then inside here i just have one insert and this insert is this pocket ones so in this pocket i did all the swatches of the small inks that i had but i still haven't finished all every single ink that i have so even though they look like so many inks i only fill out a little bit of pages but if you guys want to see everything that i did i set up this from scratch a uh, just go and look at that video i'm gonna try to link it up there somewhere but for now i'm just gonna take many of these so i can do this really quick okay so i took this out so i'm just gonna put them in here in a little stack so i can take one by one and let's try to see how it works so and I'm going to tell you a little bit of the difference of this one and what I think. I'm really excited to use this Kakimori one. Like everyone talks about this and it's so aesthetic and pretty. So let's see how the ink is going to flow in there. So let's start with this one that is up here. This one in here is the Noodler's ink and this is the red black. I have shown it in another video because I absolutely love how it looks. So let's just see this. Ooh. This is really nice. I really like how much ink it goes inside this thing. This is really interesting. I wonder if it cleans really easy compared with the other ones. I just put some water and yeah, it cleaned really nice. This is really nice. I wonder how it is going to be to write it down. Let me see. I don't know if it's gonna be nice to write down with it.
Okay, so let me see my first initial thoughts about this. When it doesn't have a lot of ink like here, it kind of writes really nice. But when I put a lot of ink, it comes a lot. So it's kind of hard, at least for me, because this is my first time using it, to kind of like see how much ink I want to take out in the nib. So it, it writes like a lot when I have a lot of ink. I like it when I have less ink insert in here. But I must say, like, with this one, I feel more comfortable on writing down because it's easier for me to hold it. And this is not so long. Last time when I did that, I had to hold it like here. And this is kind of long. So I don't know why I, I didn't feel like I was writing like how I, I usually write because the way that I usually hold my pens, let me try to use this Sailor one as an example. I really hold it really, really down there so it's easier for me to use it so i like this because of that uh, let's continue doing some swatches and let's try to see how it looks uh, with other kind of inks so far i really like how it's writing so let's see so let's wash this out I must say, when it comes with washing it out, this one was way more satisfying because the ink came all out really easy. And this, I don't know why, I feel like it may get stuck in there. It may be just my imagination, but that's that's the way I'm feeling it. So let's do other one. Let's take this one. This one is the Shikiori, and this one in here is the Toki Wamatsu. So let's do that one. I have shown this ink before because when I bought these ones, I did some swatch it some swatches, so let's try to see. Okay, let's try to write again. Let's try to put some ink in there. And this one is going to be the brand Shikiori. And this one is going to be Toki. Okay, so we did this second one. I kind of like it, but at the same time, I don't know about this. I may have to put more. I think I'm getting more used to holding this and writing down in there. But in here, I may be doing it wrong or something because it looks really scratchy in the paper. So let's try other one and then I'm going to do all of them on my own and then tell you what I think about this. Let's do this one. This is a different kind of ink. This one in here is the Jing Hao ink, and this one is the Sunny Orange. So let's just use some of these. Let's put a lot. So this is from Jing Hao. This one is the sunny orange. Okay, I kind of like this ink more. It's really wet, so it's really easy to flow with this pen. I also like, you see, it's cleaning way easier in there. So I kind of like that compared with the other inks that are a little bit less wet. So overall, I really like it. It's really interesting to use this. Let me just finish all of them and then I will tell you guys how I feel about it. Okay, I finished all of these ones. I did all the swatches for every single one. This is the Diamond Twilight. This is the Noodle Ink. This is the Red Black. Then this one is Sunny Orange by Jing Hao. This is the Green Black by Diamond. Then we got this one. This is the Toki Wamatsu by Shikiori. 
Then we got this one in here. This is the Middle Eye by Shikiori. Then we got the Diamine Makassar. Then in here we have the Ancient Copper by Diamine. We got the Dead Black by Diamine. The Atramentous Document Ink, the brown one. Then we got in here the Earl Grey by Diamine. The Aurora Borealis by Diamine. The Sepia by Diamine. Then Ox Blood by Diamine. And then in here, Grider's Blood by Diamine. The Wakao Guisu by Shikiori. Then Ryukyusha by Shikiori. And then the last one is the Pelican a 4001 and this is dark green and i cannot pronounce the name but that's the one so these are all the inks that i have left i may put them again i have to do a whole a uh, organization in here but for this video specifically it was going to be mainly utilizing this one and this one again as i told you this is the kakimori this is the metal nib and this is the sakura holder so I wanted to give you guys my thoughts after using it for the first time. Uh, I'm gonna do like a really, really quick pros and cons, mainly because my, uh, I'm not an expert, but I'm a user, you know, but I have been using these other two and I use fountain pens of different kind of nibs and everything. So I must say, I really like it. It's really cool to write with it. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but also when I was trying to write the name of this one, some of these were like really easy for me to write. And it also really similar to my handwriting and how I usually write with fountain pen. So I really like that I can do that. I feel like when I use these ones, these ones are kind of like crystal, kind of like glassing. When I use these ones, they are really scratchy. Let me try to get that off. They are really scratchy. They are really pointy. And my handwriting doesn't really look how it's supposed to look, at least not how I usually write. With this one, I feel like I can write more steady and I really like that. The thing that I don't like, it's not that I don't like because I really like this pen. The thing that I don't really enjoy is that since this one, I'm already used to see the uh, glass, I can see how much ink there is in the glass and if there is any ink left or no. But with this one, since this nib in here is brass and it has these lines in here, I don't know if you guys can see that. The ink kind of goes inside these lines. I'm not really sure if there is ink left, if there is no ink left. And sometimes I try to do it and there is a lot of ink left. I think you guys saw in one of these ones, it turned out really ugly. I don't know which one was it because I actually had a lot of extra ink. Let me try to find it so you guys can see what I this one in here i thought i didn't have any more ink and i went to write and it actually had some ink inside so that's something that i have to get used to it with this one because it's harder to see the ink with this one it's way easier to see the ink and again i'm gonna open this one so you guys don't see don't think that it's just wood it's also glad glass these kind of things uh, the thing that i really like again is this is really nice to hold it and this is really not heavy. This is actually really light to hold. I really like that. Uh, I must say this is way expensive uh, compared with these ones. This one you can buy really cheap on Amazon. Um, so I think like overall, this will be more like a extra thing. If you have money, if you want to kind of like use this really cool one to do your ink swatches or even to just write down. I will use it a lot for writing. I really like how it writes but i must say like it's really expensive so if you don't have a lot of money if you want to use that just go and buy some of these cheap ones i think i have it in my amazon storefront this one so you don't have to do all that uh, money into a expensive one but overall i really like it i'm gonna keep using it for swashing all my inks i'm gonna keep it i'm not gonna return it i already use it too but it's really nice uh, i really like that you can just take this out and if you buy other kind of like of this one the kakimori nips you can switch it and you always have the holder i like that it's really versatile for that and of course it's expensive each nib so they also have other kinds that i would like to buy in the future maybe christmas gift for myself but yeah i really like this one so <laughs> introducing you to you guys my baby my new kakimori kind of like brass nib with the sakura pen holder
and yeah and kind of like introducing you guys to the last inks that i have i know this is a really quick and random video but thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give me the thumbs up if you want to see any more of this kind of like really simple everyday user kind of review of any items that there are so many influencers out there using and recommending and saying that you have to buy it let me know if they are not extremely expensive i can buy it and maybe use it and see what i think uh, i usually really give my personal really honest opinion because i think like so many times mostly in this community that i am in that is the journaling community all of this planning community a lot of ink and all of art uh, sometimes we see something on the internet that looks really cool we want to buy it and then it doesn't work for us so i'm buying so many things i'm trying it out and posting so many videos for you guys to see it but anyways uh, thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video so bye bye mm -hmm.